Hey, everybody, how y'all doing? Are you hey okay? In your neck of the woods? What up? What up? Manners and respect, man. Are your girl, Debbie from Dunga Yard. Welcome you all to the Jamaican kitchen. Welcome once more. It is the Jamaican cooking journey. If you're new right on over here, special welcome. Thank you so very much. Those of you who are there with me from the beginning of this journey, huh? manners and respect. Now, I know some of you are fan of the background, you know, fan of the AC and, and me. And Jerry get all of the AC and the end and I need it. And Jerry behind the camera. Now today, we on, the, on today's episode of the Jamaican cooking journey, we are going to be doing a mashed potato, but we are going to be, be, be using sweet potato. So it's going to be mashed sweet potato. We are using the Jamaican yellow belly sweet potato. That sweet potato that we give with a top of the line, putting away everybody around them. Yeah, we are going to use one. Right here, I've got my water on and I'm going to get my flame up. Water for boiling up, go in a boiling water. Remember, if you're a new cook, when you just put in your water, you have to remember to add your salt. Because when you just start cook, I'm used to put that, I'll be a fresh food. Please comment when you started cooking as a young cook. How many fresh food do you cook? I don't forget to put in the salt. Comment. Now, today, me have this big yellow belly sweet potato here. So, but you know what happened? We are going to be getting a little moral out of this potato. This potato, I bought it from last weekend and I did not put it in the refrigerator. I come to use it now to do the video and I realized something is wrong right here. It was good. But we're going to cut it right here and let us see what is happening. I should have a stronger knife than this. Sharper knife. And you know what happened? You see that a part of it is not so nice. We are going to get the better part of this yellow belly sweet potato. Okay, not a lot. It didn't go, go far. I think it got, yeah, so we have most of it. So what we want to do, we have some water here. You can use your peeler. I'm going to be using this little knife, which is really efficient. I like to use these little knives to peel, you know. Kind of like a carving knife like. So I'm going to be peeling off this sweet potato. I'm going to see it up on the camera and peel off the whole item showing you, you know. But this one, we had it. We have the, um, the yellow belly sweet potato salad up. Yes, we have the yellow belly sweet potato putting up there. Live and direct, big and broad. Second to none because of how we do it. Okay, and if you want to ask about it, you can hook up Lover and Campbell in the comment section. She will tell you no how it go. Because she know about it. Laver. So look at me here. I'm going to go peel it. I'm going to cut it up. Leave it in the water. When we return, this water should be boiling. All our potato got cut up. And we'll proceed. Must soon come. Okay, now family potatoes have been peeled. And they're in some water. Even though they're in the water, they're oxidizing. But this... And you remember we have different types of potato, but it doesn't matter when you see them oxidize so, so fast, even though they are in the water, they are good potatoes. Now we are going to put it into the almost boiling water, and that boiling water should take care of that oxidation. Ox I say what, Jerry? Oxidation, whatever. So we are putting it in there. It's almost to the boil. We have washed them off, and we are putting in them, them in there. We are leaving them. To cook just as how you would cook some Irish potato to get it um, to make mashed potato so this is what we are doing you have to make sure you cut them like this or a little thinner you want them to cook all even it doesn't matter this the broadness it's the thickness let most of them be at the same thickness so and you're gonna ask me how long miss Debbie you're gonna cook them until they are fork tender just as the sweet potato leaving them to cook with just a little salt and all of that. When we return, these potatoes should be cooked. I'll show them, test them, and show you them all them for look when they cook. And we'll proceed from there. We're gonna be doing sweet potato, sweet potato, mashed, we're gonna be doing mashed sweet potato. We're gonna be doing it a little different. Miss Hong Kong. We are back, our potatoes are all cooked. 
come up to like to switch them up on this and this is what they look like all tender all cooked and all of that what we want to do we want to move them from this water as we would if you want to drain them you drain them but I'm using this to remove them and you have gotten the idea so I'm gonna remove them all drain them and then remove them to this bowl so I'll see you in the next clip okay we are all here with the steam and a fly up and a carry on when do we, when should how should we cook them is there be until when see them here till them almost put up put up okay can too soft put up put up part two jamaican part two. we'll talk about it on the jamaican baby Deb strain now that they are all so hot all the steam coming out and all of that we want to use right here this potato was about three and a half pounds but let us say we got th three pounds because we had that little part there so i'm gonna be using some of this butter you use what you want to use i'm gonna be using about that and that would be equal to about three tablespoons full into this hot hot steaming yellow belly sweet potato i'm gonna be mashing in gently mashing in this butter we're gonna go mash until the heat dissolves all of this butter into this potato and return okay we are back and we have mashed and we have also incorporated this butter telling us in none shoot them up Jerry. this is just the yellow belly sweet potato but the the the, 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 the flavor of the butter is there now we're going to be using just probably like half a cup or a little less or probably a little more of milk you could use also some other milk healthy milk or whatever and we are going to mash in this i would say less than a, this is about like a quarter cup it is not fully half cup and this is what this milk is taking it and making it into a different consistency we have used this milk this milk we use it cold well cold because we want to cool down the we want to cool down the temperature of the potato we want to tap them from cook them now so this is what we have so what we're going to do right here and now we're going to leave it to be properly cooled and when you see me in the next clip we'll be making a few little things to put together to pep it up to gig it up a bit must soon come okay now family we are back while our potato mashed potato is being cooled out we are doing some um, chicken sandwich. You could use turkey, pork, whatever you want. So I'm going to be doing it like this. You want to have it diced but at a certain length. Okay? So I'm going to be doing it like this. We have got over here a skillet being preheated. I'm going to be using no oil in there. So I'm going to be putting it in the skillet and leave it to just let it soften, just let it cook off, you know, and just have a little crispiness with no oil. You have gotten the idea i'm gonna go finish these now put them in there use something that is wide that it has the space to move around you want to get it all crispy all not like fully crispy you want to get it to be honestly let me say with a little brown on it you know what i'm saying you want to get it with a little extra brown on it so you want to use something that is wide that it has the space to move around oil free no oil so when you see me next this should be ready we have a, lot of, a few, just maybe two more things that we're going to add, and we're going to put it together, then we're going to serve. Masun come. Okay, family, we are back. We have got our cooled potatoes. We have got some mayo. We have got some chopped green scallions. We have got a little chopped red bell pepper, and these are all for flavoring. And we have got our um, sausages. So what we're going to do now, we're going to, and remember, I'm going to leave for you the amount of potatoes I use to the amount of, um, mayonnaise that I'm using. I'll not be putting everything at once. I'm going to be doing it a little at a time. So I'm going to be folding in. Remember, you know, we want to get it all smooth because remember, when the, um, when the, the sweet potato cools, it has a different consistency from the Irish potato. We say Irish potato and you guys say you don't know why we say Irish, but I don't know. We just say Irish as opposed to sweet potato so you want to spread it in a little at a time and this is what i'm doing and this is what i'll continue to be doing until you see me in the next clip so when we come back yeah go see the consistency uh, oh we have to have that something here mm? okay now family we are back and to be honest we should be showing you this process that, that that 
process as how we got it. We had to put a little more mayonnaise. So you want to put enough till you have it at this consistency. And can I say something right here? No, put the camera upon the camera, son. This recipe was um, inspired by Kimmy. And Kimmy's not doing no videos, okay? She did it and she gave me some and it was a beauty. So I'm putting my little twist to it. So what you want to do as an home cook person, you want to put your mayonnaise or whatever you want to use. Some people use Miracle Whip or whatever. You do your stuff, okay? And you want to fold it in, fold it in until you have this nice consistency. Look at me here. Okay. So as you fold in and you, 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 you taste and you look, make sure it's properly folded. That's why we did it a little at a time, okay? And remember I told you, the sweet potato is more coarser after it is cooked. All before it cooked, it's more coarser. Try to remember that. So now, we're going to be going in with a little of this. This is just for a little extra flavor and a little gig. You could do what you want to do, or you could also omit it, looking at it, and it is so pretty. It's a perfect color. Could you comment? Okay, we are doing it. Because that's what we do as home cook. We are not chef, we are cookies. So that's what we do when we are cookies. And you put in these last, because you know, you're not the mama short when you're putting the, when you're folding in the mayonnaise. So gently now, you want to go a little over and under get it all distributed right through and have that nice look and you get the picture and all of that we now feel mix it up no more and all of that and look at the beauty could you please comment when you see me next this will all be plated up for you it is mashed jamaican yellow belly sweet potato must soon come we are back family from my kitchen to yours from my jamaican kitchen to your family table, to your plate, to your Thanksgiving, to your Christmas dinner table. It is yellow belly mashed sweet potato. Please do enjoy. Now, you can play this, you can serve it whatever way you want to. This is just our little way of doing it. And you can also use your different condiments of choice. Make sure you have got the right consistency to make sure your guests and stuff and your family also enjoy it. If you have liked this video, Remember to let, make sure you give me thumbs ups. Not thumbs up, you know, thumbs ups. Make sure you're subscribed to the Jamaican Cooking Journey. When you subscribe, make sure to hit that notification bell. And also, when you hit it, if you're in the first, second, or third to make a comment pertaining to the video, then you will be shouted out or your name will run across, run across the screen. Thank you so much for your love. Thank you so much for your support. Uh, I still don't have running water in my pipe, so I will not be posting like a lot of videos that needs a lot of water. I've got to be, you know, you notice I'm not posting all that often. The water is still not in the pipe. I've got to know how I post and what I'm posting. Thank you so much once more for your love and support. All our information is there. All would like to make a donation to the Jamaican Cooking Journey. The link to our PayPal, Cash App and Sell is there. Okay, thanks, thanks so much. David from Dongayan, bless, no stress.